All right, this is a new runner here. Today I just wanted to take a second and show you guys how I got my uh, physical collection set up. Uh, like you've heard me say in other videos, I ended up uh, getting a full collection probably uh, maybe a couple of months after the FFG uh, ended support. And so I got these, uh, I got two core sets and everything and a bunch of like uh, tournament swag as well and alt cards from from the guy for a really great price and the only negative to that is the fact that um, I kind of want people in my area to play games and that's one guy that probably won't be playing any uh, net runner because he's probably not going to go hunt down a whole collection at this point but other than that I really appreciate that uh, gentleman for uh, even working with me, even let me haggle with him, you know, which at this point, after I realize how valuable these are, I feel bad for even haggling with him, honestly. But anyway, so he already had these, uh, a couple of cards on each one of these boxes here, and I ended up getting another core set, so I got three core sets, um, but, uh, so I have another box, but I ended up, and I did used to have all of my current cards, in, in these boxes for runner and corp. It's a good idea though, just to tape a card on your boxes and on the side as well, so that you know which uh, which which box you're, you're reaching for. But I had uh, all of my current uh, standard format cards, legal, form, legal cards in these boxes, and I had another one that I had just my, um, all of the cards that had rotated and then I had one of each legal card in a binder, right? But I didn't like how that was working because I ended up having issues where I would, I would need three of a card, so now I have to go to the binder and I have to go to the box and grab the different cards and then things were getting out of order and everything. Like I've told you in the past, I'm borderline OCD, so, I've spent a lot of, I've spent a ton of time organizing uh, my cards and and even printing out uh, Frankfurt uh, cards and laminating them and all that kind of stuff, only to you know not play them nearly as much as what I thought I was going to, but I still had a good time doing that. But anyway, just recently I decided to go ahead and put all of my non-legal cards in these two boxes right here. And, um, and, and, and I went ahead and took out the San San and the, I believe, Order and Chaos out as well and go ahead and put these in here because obviously we're not getting to play in person very much right now and I'm pretty much not planning on getting into Standard until they release, uh, more aggressively, until they get, until they release the Gateway either at the end of the, this 2020 or beginning of 2021. So anyway, I got uh, these I, a long time ago. I ended up getting these really nice uh, laminated, uh, oh man, can't get it, there it is. Laminated dividers, and I got another type as well that I printed out, but I've pretty much just decided to use them at this point. And I've got everything in basically alphabetical order from events, hardware, programs, resources for the runner, and then IDs right here, all your IDs, multiple copies of the IDs, if I, a couple of copies of each, uh, the other copies are stashed away somewhere. And then for the uh, corporation, I got agendas, assets, uh, ice operations and upgrade. I actually, due to the size of the ice collection, had to kind of manipulate that a little bit. And then I've got, like I said, all of those uh, Frankfurt, uh, Frankfurt decks that they had, which I actually built all those at one point and never played with any of them. So that was a, about five hours of, of my life gone, right? But still, uh, I went ahead and tore all those down as well and got this collection back together. And then I just have some more uh, dividers, the other type of divider right here. You can find these on BGG. There's another type that offers you, hopefully that's uh, clearing up. But anyway, so, that is that. Now, again, like I said before, I ended up having uh, one card in my binder and the other two cards for the legal cards in 
in the boxes. But now I have taken this, I, I, the System Core 2019, I printed those out a, a while ago. So I went ahead and just put those on the front of the binder and I put the Frankfurt decks on the back of the binder to let me know, hey, these are my corp cards here. Even though, I mean, it's pretty much uh, color coded. I went ahead and I got my IDs going, each faction, right? And then as HB, we're doing a, uh, corporations in order and as well and runners. So I got HB, Gentechi, MBN, and Wayland. And so I do that for each and save a little room for future identities coming out uh, if I need to. And then I have my agendas coming in for each faction that are legal and everything. Right, and then again, going all the way to assets and ice for this first big binder for the corp. I have a gen, uh, assets and ice, and then for the smaller one here, I have operations and upgrades. And so, I mean, I'm just showing you the, showing you this in case you are wondering a, a solid way to organize your cards. And those cards are all in uh, set and number order, so I can easily put those back in place, right? And, and that was another challenge, is not having those in order. You're constantly trying to uh, hunt those down. And then here's my runner cards. Again, I took the time to get those and set and basically cycle or deluxe expansion and then number order. There might be a couple out of order, but they are in the right set. And so, and again, going in the same order of Anarch's Criminal Shaper, Events Hardware. I think this is only Events and Hardware. And then I have, actually I have my uh, mini factions as well here and my neutrals. Can't forget neutrals. There is the neutrals, and then I got my mini factions. I pretty much just put all my mini faction cards together in the same binder, event, hardware, all that together. And then again, programs and resources in that order. So now, whenever I am ready to go ahead and build some physical decks again, whenever I hopefully find some uh, locations to play I'll be able to quickly grab those uh, decks put them together and play and then quickly uh, put those uh, back up when I need them and uh, it's this is kind of something again with my borderline a little OCD but also with the aspect of me with board games I'm a board gamer first always have been and my whole goal has always been organize things so that I can spend less time tearing down and setting up and more time playing the game right and so just to give you all a little idea of what you can do with your physical cards but I'm not saying this is the best method. I've just tried some different ones and I, and I finally came to the conclusion I like this style. So y'all let me know what y'all's organizational styles are. All right. So anyway, that was just a quick video. Just wanted to share that with y'all and give y'all some ideas. And then hopefully y'all come back and maybe even provide me with an idea that might even be better. Tell me what's wrong with my organizational setup and uh, just tell me uh, just some stories about your collection or whatever or something interesting. All right, take care.